one, the story is Marley and the Kitten. The little red car trucked down the road on a warm summer's day. Mummy and Daddy and Cassie and the baby Louie were on their way home from a picnic in the country. And in the back seat, with his head stuck out of the window, was their big yellow puppy Marley. All of a sudden, Marley began to bark and yelp and whine. He looked like he might leap right out of the window. What is it, boy? Cassie asked. Ah, oh, woof, 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 Marley said. What he needs potty, baby Louie said. Dad, Daddy stopped the car and out jumped Marley, but he didn't poop and he did not weep. What he did was sniff his way along the side of the road, dragging Mummy behind him. His tail wagged wildly as he snorted and snuffed through the weeds like a vacuum cleaner. When he finally stopped, Mummy called out, Oh my goodness, look what Marley found! They're so cute! Cassie exclaimed. Yow! Baby Bluey shrieked. In the weed eats lay two tiny fluffy kittens. They're just babies, Mummy said, and they don't have a mummy, added Cassie. Marley nuzzled their bellies with his nose and whined. Don't worry, big guy, Daddy said. We're not going to leave them here by the side of the road. Cassie cuddled the kitten and baby, baby Louie the other. I'm naming mine Lucky, Cassie said. Mine Yo-Yo, baby Louie declared. It looks like our family just got bigger, Mummy said. Back at the house, Lucky and Yo-Yo made themselves at home. They rubbed against the cupboards and sniffed the floor. This calls for my super duper doggy welcome, Marley thought, as he raced from the garage, sliding across the tiles and not stopping until he rammed the rubbish bin. Settle down, Marley! Scolded, you'll scare the kittens! Cassie placed a bowl of water in a place of tuna fish on the floor and called, Here, kitty kitties! Time to eat! The kittens came running, and so did Marley. Oh boy! Treats! That's for the kittens, not you! Cassie yelled. Bad dog, Marley, Daddy said. Bam, bam, Weddy, baby Louie repeated. After lunch, Lucky and Yo-Yo cleaned their faces with their tongues and paws. Marley cleaned his face too. Marley, no, Mummy yelled. Yuck, yuck, baby Louie cried. The kittens played with the cords from the window blinds. They pounced and tugged and battered them back and forth. Oh, how adorable, Mummy cooed. But when Marley joined the fun, Mummy stopped smiling. No, Marley, you're wrecking everything. The kittens popped into the kitchen counter and tipped him among the jars and glasses, tiptoed amongst the jars and glasses. Look how graceful they are, Daddy marvelled. Then Marley, then came Marley. Ah, ah, he barked. As to say, wait for me, he leapt onto a chair and then onto the counter to join his new friends. But Marley was no graceful kitten. Bad dog, Marley. The kittens discovered their brand new litter tray. Marley discovered it too. No wee wee waddy, baby Louie yelled. Mum, he opened a kitchen drawer for a towel. And when she looked back, the kittens had climbed in. They curled up and fell asleep. Aren't they precious, Mummy said. So cute, Cassie agreed. Marley wanted to be precious and cute just like the kittens 
but when he tried the same trick, no one found to be either. Daddy moved the litter tray out to the garage and installed a tiny cat door so the kittens could come and go when they liked. Great idea, Marley thought, and tried to use the new door too. You're in time out, Mr. Mummy ordered. What did I do this time, Marley wondered. He just wanted to be loved like the kittens. He wanted to be popular like them too. But the more he tried, the more he messed up. Stupid cats, he thought. They're so perfect. Perfect. And he... I'm just, just a dog. A dog that can't do anything right. Sometimes I wish I'd never found those kittens. As Marley sat there pouting, he felt something brush against him. There were Yucky, there was Lucky and Yo-Yo. They rubbed their whiskers against his sides and purred loudly, stretching their faces up towards Marley. Marley forgot all about being sad. You came to keep me company. Hey everyone, come look, Cassie shouted. The kittens have put themselves in time out. I guess they missed their new pal, Daddy said. Grinning, even Mum had to laugh like three peas in a pod, she marvelled. Oh, Marley, Cassie said, giving him a hug. See how pop popular you are? The kittens certainly are cute, but they could never take your place, Daddy added, scratching him behind the ears. There will always, there'll only be one Marley. We love you just the way you are, Mummy said. Where do you walk? Bad baby, Louie screeched, and the whole family laughed. Marley pranced and danced and wiggled and squiggled from tongue to tail. He would never be a cute kitten, and that was all right. He was Marley, one of a kind. No apologies needed. Friends. Forever.